Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a hot rollers tutorial. This has been one of my favorite ways to style my hair recently. I really like how you get a 90s, like super bouncy, voluminous look. I'm gonna be using these from T3. And the way these work is you basically just plug in the little uh, platform and then this thing heats up. The rods that the hot rollers are on will start to heat up. You just turn the device on. I've got eight hot rollers here and I'm gonna show you how we do this. So I'm doing this on second day hair. I washed my hair yesterday and then just kind of wore it natural, I guess you could say. Um, so the only two products I have in it right now are the Whey by Rito Mojave Ghost Leave-In Conditioner. And then I have some of the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate throughout the ends as well. But I will not be putting any prep products in right now. We'll do all of the finishing products at the end. So I'm gonna start off with these lower sections. They're gonna be considerably larger because this I'm not so much focused on getting super curly or anything I just want a lot of wave and body to these lower sections of hair and then by keeping these sections longer They're not going to curl quite as tight So you'll get to keep the length from the lower sections of your hair and it'll just help the hair look You know as long as possible without being like too curly So I'm gonna use the larger roller for these sections I just pop it out right before I'm ready. Do one last brush through so that you don't have any kinks in the hair and that way you get the smoothest result possible. So I'm gonna start by taking the roller right on the end like this. And then we're just going to wrap this up. Make sure that you use your fingertips to hold the end of the hair flat so that you don't get any kinks in the hair or any tangles and I'll take it right up to the scalp take one of the ow <laughs> take one of the uh, t3 clips and we just clip it right around the hot roller it's gonna fall a little bit but don't worry we're gonna do the same thing get that next hot roller ready so I just pop that off of the little stand and I'll show you so you can see I'm really guiding the hair, holding it flat, and you can see the end of the hair right here. I'm gonna take my fingers and just wrap it so that it's nice and flush with the roller itself. That way you don't get a kink in the end of your hair from the way it gets rolled up. So just take it like that and just try to keep all those end bits right in there and then you just roll it up take it up as high as you can and then clip it right into place I'm gonna let down the next section of hair next I'm gonna take one of these smaller rollers for this middle section so that I get a little bit more texture in the way that the waves form but still again Hold that end bit flat to the roller when you start rolling upward. Really that's the most important part because that keeps the style looking nice and smooth. And that's probably the most important thing to do um, because otherwise the hair will have a really distinct kink at the bottom. So just be careful on that first couple bit of rolls. For this next section I am again doing a large section and rolling it upward, just really starting at the end and rolling up. And you just clip it into place, lay it flat and twist. Now the rollers are also not super hot, so I don't have any issues with them like burning my fingertips or anything like that. So now we're gonna style the last section and I'm going to first do the front part of my hair where my layers are a little bit shorter just so that I get some extra time with this roller and so I can really get a lot of extra volume. So I'm just gonna brush through. You can either curl this section inward or you can curl it outward. It just depends on what you like better. And I'm just gonna start right at the bottom, roll it up, 
And then once that end bit is nice and flush with the roller, just start rolling it back. This is really hard to be in frame for. And now you can see from the side, I've got the roller closest to the scalp as I can roll. And then I'm just gonna clip it right on top. I know this looks ridiculous right now, but it does come together. From this back section, I'm taking my next big back section. This is the hardest part doing these top sections from behind your back, but we're just gonna roll here as close as we can get it to the scalp. And then we clip it into place and you can let it fall a bit. Uh, so for these last two temple sections of hair, because I want more of a swoop to come out, I'm going to use the last two small size rollers. These are gonna go in vertical. So you're gonna take your little roller, start right at the end, start right at the end, and roll upward. Clip. And this can be a little bit tricky if you have some face framing layers like I do, but just watch the hair, and if any piece falls out, you can just sneak it back into the roller. All right, so now we've got eight rollers in the hair. I know it looks ridiculous, but it really does end up being the most beautiful result. Depending on how long you leave them in, that's going to give you a more intense wave or more defined curls. If you want more of like a soft body wave, I'd say leave them in for maybe five to 10 minutes. And if you want them to be, you know, the strongest, most defined style, then you can leave them in until they're completely cooled, which could be anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes depending on the thickness of your hair but you can just keep touching the rollers and you'll know when they start to cool down I'm gonna leave mine in for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll show you how we just perfect the style and finish it off with some products all right so I've had the rollers in for 15 minutes I am going to start taking them down what I like to do is take them down in the order that I put them in and watch this Oh my gosh, you get that really pretty, soft, bouncy wave. So just unclip them. I get so excited when I start taking them down because I just love how much body they have. Like, look at that. So nice. So then, I'm just gonna brush through. I'm using that hair edit brush I talked about in my September favorites. I really like this. It's also nice for styling as well. Okay, so we've just removed all the hot rollers. Full disclosure, the first time I filmed, I put like this, I think I put the same shirt back on, um, but the first time I was filming the tutorial, my microphone died somewhere around the end of the tutorial and I had to go to the store, get the new battery. It was a whole thing, but I put the rollers back in for you. I'm just raking through with my hands and I'm going to apply a little bit of the Gizu honey infused hair oil. Just a tiny bit. Just going to take a couple drops in my hands. This is a really thick nourishing oil, so a little bit goes a long way. And I'm just gonna work this all throughout my hair. And I'm just gonna kind of really massage this into the ends of my hair so that they get nice and moisturized. And then I'm just gonna brush through, I'm using this one from Crown Affair. And just make sure that the oils fully disperse throughout my hair and not just laying anywhere. And I feel like today it actually came out perfect. So it's always gonna be just slightly different depending on the day and exactly how you place the rollers, but you'll always get this really amazing, bouncy, super, super voluminous result. And then I always like to finish with this. It's one of my favorite products specifically for this style. I only have the small bottle today, but it's the Orbe Thick Dry Finishing Spray. This is a little bit different from Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray because this one gives you more of a plump, voluminous, 
kind of fat body looking hair versus dry texturizing spray which gives you a little bit more of a PC powdery effortless looking texture this one's great for like blowouts or when you want to really emphasize the volume in the hair so you just give it a shake and I apply it the same way that I do the uh, dry texturizing spray let the hair cascade into the mist Focus on the parts of the hair where you really want to fluff them up and you can still, you know, move it around with your fingertips just to reactivate the product if you feel like it starts falling. And you can really see, like, look at this side where the product's applied. It really just emphasizes that body and gives you that really nice plump looking hair. This side still looks, you know, really nice, but it's just not as plump as that side. And then always get these little front pieces. Okay, so there we go. You can see tons of body, tons of volume. We love this. It is like Cindy Crawford, Pepsi commercial energy. And I am telling you right now, I am such a hot roller girl. I am like totally on this train right now because you can apply your make, you can do your hair, put them in the hot rollers, do your makeup. And by the time you get done doing your makeup, your hair is styled. It is so nice. That's what I did today so that I could refilm this um, end styling bit for you with a working microphone and not have it be awkward and like shift into a voiceover. I'm just really loving the hot rollers now. Love the convenience of being able to multitask while my hair is being styled. And I also love the long lasting body and volume. This style really just gets prettier the longer you wear it. It's going to look its best first and second day, um, but it's just gonna fall softly throughout the days that you wear it. And you can always revive the root area simply by just putting another big roller in. So if you like the way the rest of the hair is falling throughout the week and you wanna extend the style just a little bit longer, you can pop the um, thicker roller right in the root area and you'll get this part of the hair revived so i hope you found this tutorial helpful i will have the rollers as well as all the hair products i used throughout the tutorial linked in the description box and if there are any other hair tutorials you're really wanting to see please be sure to leave them down in the comments and i would love to do them for you and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching this one bye